everyone, I'm Amber and today I'm going to show you how to use place value counters for column addition. First I'm going to show you column addition without regrouping and then I'm going to show you with regrouping. First I'm going to show you how to add 253 and 324. I have made the number 253 using 200 counters, 5 tens counters and 3 ones counters and underneath I have made the number 324 using 300 counters, 2 tens counters and 4 ones counters. When we do column addition we always start by adding the ones first. I'm going to start by adding together the 3 and the 4. Next I'm going to add together the 5 tens and the 2 tens. Finally I'm going to add together the 2 and the 3 hundreds. So this gives me 577. So, 253 add 324 equals 577. We can show this by drawing out the place value counters. And then the numbers written without the place value counters. This time I'm going to show you what happens when the 1s and 10s add up to 10 or more. I'm going to use column method to add together 357 and 476. I'm going to add together the 7 and the 6 ones. Seven add six equals thirteen ones. We can't have thirteen ones in the ones column, so I'm going to exchange ten of my ones for a tens counter and place it in the tens column under the answer box. I'm now going to add my tens. Five tens add seven tens equals twelve tens. But I also need to add the one ten under the answer box. So I now have thirteen tens. We can't have thirteen tens. So I need to exchange 10 of my 10s for a 100 counter and place it under the answer box in the 100 column. Finally, I need to add my 100s, 300s and 400s equals 700s. I also need to add the 100 under the answer box so I now have 800s. So 357 add 476 equals 833. We can also draw the place value counters to show this. And write the calculation without the counters. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a new video with something new every week. See you soon. Bye.